What's going on everyone? Max Forte back with another video. In today's video, we're going to talk about my favorite discoveries of 2019. Now, this doesn't necessarily mean that these fragrances were actually released in 2019. It just means that this is the first year that I've actually discovered these fragrances. So I'm going to actually share with you 25 options, 25 great discoveries of mine that I've actually tried for the first time this past year of 2019. So if you guys want to check out all 25 choices, guys, stick around. They're coming up next. So what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. The fragrances I'm about to share with you today are absolutely amazing fragrances and definitely my favorite discoveries of the year of 2019, last year. Um, these are actually a whole bunch of fragrance houses I've never even heard of ever until last year. So I'm both excited and happy to share these fragrances with you guys. So without any further ado, we have a lot of ground to cover. Let's hop right into the choices. By the way, these are in no particular order. They're just my favorite discoveries of 2019. So I'm just gonna go through them randomly here and share with you my top 25 discoveries of 2019. First one here is from the house of Javoy or Javoy from France, Paris. This is uh, Psychedelique, which is an amazing dirty patchouli, incredible patchouli fragrance, guys. If you like Coromandel from Chanel, you know, Les Exclusives, you're going to love this if you wanted something a little amped up, a little spicier, a little dirtier uh, than Coromandel, guys. Definitely consider checking out Psychedelique, one of my favorite discoveries of 2019, and definitely one of my favorite fragrances right now that I'm actually wearing in my day-to-day -day rotation, guys. Check out Psychedelique. If you like patchouli, you're going to love this one. This next one is a fragrance that needs absolutely no introduction. I spoke immensely about this particular fragrance and very highly about this fragrance. This is Saharov Signature Ohm. There was a predecessor to this fragrance back in 1999, I believe. It was discontinued and then re-released in 2018. Um, but I've only discovered this fragrance again last year. And I am so glad I did. You know, for someone that likes fougere, old school, you know, old world, classy kind of scent, this is elegance personified in the bottle. This is a, a pure gentleman's elixir, guys. A pure gentleman elixir right here in Saharoff Signature Pour Om. If you guys haven't tried this, I definitely urge you guys to check this out. It's an absolute stunning scent. It took that fougere, barbershop feel type scent and added some amazing components like oud, but just so well blended and so inspiring uh, sort of a scent, guys. Guys, check this out if you haven't. If you like old school fougeres, you're gonna love this one. Now, here's another house that I discovered this year, uh, this past year of 2019, and this is pretty much a spicy sandalwood scent. This is from the house of Amor Oud, which is such an underrated house. No one's really talking about this fragrance in, in the community or this fragrance house. Amor Oud is uh, an American uh, brand of all things, and it is extremely well blended and amazing quality, guys. This is from New York, right in my backyard. This is Santal de Inde, which is a Really spicy sandalwood, a little bit boozy. There's a little bit of absinthe boozy accord in here. This is absolutely stunning juice, guys. A stellar composition. The whole brand is amazing. There's one, I think it's called Cold Stone. There's one that's a lunar vetiver composition, which is a tremendous vetiver scent, which I do love vetiver. So it is one that I truly love. One of my top five from the, from the brand. And in fact, they're coming out with a private blend. Uh, they just released, I think, late last year. It was first introduced at Scent Explore 2019. So I'm really looking forward into diving more into Amor Oud and really trying their, their private collection. But this here, Santal de Inde, is definitely one of my favorite discoveries and the brand itself. Check out the House of Amor Oud if you can, and more so Santal de Inde. I think if you like sandalwood, you're gonna love this stuff right here. No, I'm definitely not just gonna talk about niche fragrances. There's also some good designers, believe it or not, that I discovered last year. This particular one was released, I think, in 2016, and this is from Isimiyaki. This is Or Sans Pour Homme, which is essentially a um, spicy incense type scent. So if you like oriental, spicy, incense type fragrances, definitely consider checking this one out. And to be honest with you, I do think that Isimiyaki is definitely on a roll over the past few years. This is exactly what I'm talking about, guys. When it comes to designers, they need to take more risk. They need to give us some more unique fragrances like Isimiyaki has done. Granted, uh, a lot of these releases were pretty much from for the Dubai market or European, Eastern European market. But needless to say, some great compositions coming from Isimiyaki over the past three years or so. Uh, 2016, we had Noir Ombre, which is an amazing spicy amber. And then 2017, we had Orange Suns, which I definitely discovered it this year, but I'm so glad I have. And then this year, they had 2019, actually last year now, they had Pulse of the Night, which is another amazing uh, woody, spicy fragrance. So, and leathery. So they have been on a roll, and kudos for Insimiyaki to put out some really amazing designer uh, fragrances. We're lacking some of these designer companies to put some inspiring stuff just like this one, guys. So Orange Suns, 
Discovered 2019 and definitely one that I urge you guys to check out if you like incense. This next one, I'm not going to spend too much time on it because you guys heard so much about this particular fragrance in the community and from myself. I just recently released a video uh, called Rewind 2019, which I gave you guys uh, my top releases and top disappointments for, for 2019. And this one is definitely at the top. This was like my favorite release of 2019 and definitely one that I discovered. In fact, the house of Nishani from Turkey, Istanbul was a fragrance house that I really only started to dab into last year, just around April. And I've gotten this fragrance in May. And since then, it's been a stellar cardamom, vanilla, spicy, oriental scent that I absolutely felt head over heels, guys. Not going to talk too much more about it. Uni, amazing from Nishani, guys. Definitely one of my favorite discoveries. House and fragrance in 2019. So since we're talking about Turkey, Istanbul, let's talk about another niche house from Turkey, Istanbul. This time around, Uniki Luxury. Another one that I found out and discovered recently. Uh, around October of last year, just before I sent Explore, and then I found out more about this particular house. You know, I tested all their compositions, which amazing stellar fragrances. They have something for everyone, and this one here was definitely the icing on a cake, the cherry on top of my Sunday. This is Uniki Luxuries Chocolate Makes Me Happy. I do love Gourmand. I do have a sweet tooth, and this is chocolate. This is chocolate heaven. This reminds me a little bit of an ambery, more spicier version of a fragrance that I love that was released, I believe, in 2007 from Givenchy. Um, and the fragrance was called Very Irresistible for Him. Uh, this is very similar to that. Like I said, it's spicier and ambrier, a little sweeter. Definitely a great gourmand, guys. Check out this whole line. They have some amazing compositions. And chocolate makes me happy. It does make me happy. One of my favorite discoveries of 2019. Going back to designers again, this particular house I just discovered early 2019 and I shared it with you guys here and reviewed it for you. Uh, I love this fragrance. So this is from the house of Rochas, which is a Parisian house that I haven't really tried or heard about it in years since the inception of uh, Rochas Men and Rochas Men Intense. But this here is Moustache Eau de Parfum 2018 release. This is 125 mil heavy bottle, amazing quality, heavy cap. They did a fantastic job with this, guys. And guess guess what? I was able to find this at discounters, and I think I paid around 60 bucks for it. Worth every penny. This is an ambery, sweet, spicy, woody fragrance. If you like Tuxedo and you wanted something that's going to actually smell a little spicier and give you a little bit better performance, definitely check out Moustache 2018 Eau de Parfum. It is harder to get now. It's it's you know it, This is pretty much easier to find in Europe. So if you're in Europe, you're going to be able to find this at a decent price. But here in America, in North America... Or in the Americas, I should say. This is a little harder to find and a little bit expensive. I wouldn't go to the eBay route. Just wait. Um, I do have a partner with this channel, which is FragranceBuy.ca. They do stock this fragrance from time to time. So stay tuned. You know, look out. Stay on the lookout. Check out the Rare Gems and the um, New Arrivals page. This stuff always pops in there, you know, two, three times a year. And when you do find it, do pick up a couple bottles. I actually picked up a couple bottles myself. And if you like this kind of fragrance, Woody Spice, if you like Tuxedo from Miss Laurent, you're definitely going to like this one, guys. Now, this next one here is from actually Australia. And this is a new fragrance, a newcomer. You know, I was, you know, first heard about this fragrance at the latter part of 2019, right around, you know, summertime. So glad I found this particular brand. What I love about Mihan Aromatics, and this particular one is Guilty Story, which is a white tobacco spicy cinnamon bomb. I do love tobacco, so def definitely one that I, I truly appreciate. The great thing about Mihan Aromatics is that they're very environment conscious and very health conscious. Everything they put in these fragrances here are very looked after. They, they pretty much source their... They actually have a farm in Australia where they actually source all the ingredients for this particular fragrance, including the alcohol, which is a sugarcane based alcohol. This is paraben-free. It's just heavenly fragrance, guys. It is done correctly. The ingredients are amazing. It's blended to perfection. Very unique. They have an amazing collection, guys. If you have a chance to check out Mihen Aromatics, do check them out. You're not going to be disappointed. You know, from like I said, from the blending, the natural ingredients that goes into these, these fragrances, such unique and amazing compositions. Guilty Story is definitely my favorite one because it's a tobacco, spicy, ambery kind of a fragrance that I, I just love, guys. So if you like tobacco, you want something a little bit unique and different, the stuff here would definitely uh, fit the bill, guys. So Guilty Story from Mihen Aromatics, one of my favorite discoveries from Australia in 2019. And this one here was actually released in 2015, but I was just able to actually try this for the first time at a Sons in Milan back in April of last year. And I'm so happy I tried this particular fragrance house. And this particular one is just one that blew me away. This is from Arv Gomes from, from Paris. This is Infusion Noir, as the name says here. It's a dark uh, infusion. I've actually did a full review on this, guys. If you want to check it out, go check it out. What I get out of this fragrance is a spicy tea, ambery, 
oriental type scent. You know, it's going to be in the same vein as your tobacco vanille type scents, but it's not the same fragrance. It's definitely very bold and very in your face. Uh, you need to really appreciate dark and heavy um, ambery type scents to really appreciate. There's a ton of spices here, cloves, cinnamon, and I get like a chai tea with anise in here as well. Definitely amazing, guys, but this, this packs up a punch. So it might be a little bit clawing and a little bit sickly to some people, but I do love this stuff when it's really heavy, cold out. If it's a snow day in particular, I do rock this, guys. Check out Irv Gums Infusion Noir. Actually, check out the whole house. They're very nice, too. Uh, also, another brand that I'm looking forward to trying more from, but this is the only one that I own from them so far. But I'm definitely looking to pick up some more fragrances from Orv Gums. But definitely a great one. This is from 2015, but I just discovered it in 2019. And I'm glad this particular fragrance house have made to my collection. Truly love this one, guys. This next one is a fragrance house that's based out of a Czech Republic. The perfumer itself, or the founder or CEO of this company, Renier, is actually Spaniard. And this particular fragrance here is called Behique. And what I love about this fragrance is, number one, it was put together by one of my favorite noses, my, my, one of my favorite modern noses of, of our time, which is Christian Carbonell. And this is called Behique. Now, Behique is a heavy tobacco, like a green leafy tobacco with cannabis. Uh, this is, again, very dark. It's very reminiscent of Black Afghano. But there's a ton of fragrances from this particular house, but I wanted to highlight this one here because this is a powerhouse of a scent. I believe this is like a 50 mil. This is something that you don't need more than one or two sprays to really make a statement, to make a presence and head turn. Uh, you know, as you walk into a room, you're gonna, you're gonna turn heads for sure, guys. So Behique from Renier, definitely one of my favorite discovers and favorite houses of 2019. And this one here is also from 20, so it's a 2019 release. But they also have a ton of releases like I talked about. And again, I'm going to have links to all these fragrance houses in the description. So if you guys want to check out the, the fragrance house, if you want to check out different, you know, f different compositions from these particular houses, if you want to try samples from them, whatever the case may be, I'm going to have all the information down in the link below. But R Renier is definitely one of my favorite discoveries of 2019, guys. And one that I urge you to check out if you want something exotic, they do it like no one, guys. Really bold, in your face, very full fragrances, really deep, dark and amazing compositions that are just just very long-lasting and exotic. Renier uh, Behique, one of my favorites of 2019 discoveries as well. Now this next one is one that I uh, found about it also in Exunz in Milan, which if you guys are watching this and you're a fragrance reviewer or if you're a fragrance aficionado, I do urge you guys to definitely make out to Exunz in Milan. Uh, it happens late April this year coming up, uh, 2020. Well, this is actually 2020, so it's happening in April coming up, I believe late the 20. Don't quote me on it. Go look at it. I'll have the link to, to Assange also in the description if you guys want to check out the, the show in Milan. It's definitely an amazing opportunity if you're in Europe, if you want to come, meet you know reviewers, meet perfumers. I mean, it, it's one of the best conventions that I've ever been. It is the best convention I've ever been to, hands down, uh, period. So this one is one that I, I don't want to you know veer off here, so let me digress. So this is from the house of Kajal, one fragrance house that is mainly based in Dubai, Canada and France. Now, Kajal has some amazing juices, all long-lasting, unique, exotic. This here is Solage. This is my favorite discovery from this house in 2019. Both house and fragrance because Solage is basically a powerhouse leather fragrance. Now, this is a trifecta of leather, patchouli, and vetiver. And also, there's some sandalwood here that makes it very unique and creamy. So, you guys know how much I love Powerhouse Fragrance. I talked about Saharov, Signature Om. Solage is going to be exactly that. An old an old world, classy, elegant type scent, very bold. Again, you need to appreciate old school types and powerhouse uh, type fragrances to appreciate. This is not going to be for everyone. Most of these fragrances are going to be quite unique, uh, and this is definitely one of my favorite discoveries. If you're watching this and you want something really bold, something old school feel, leathery with sandalwood, vetiver, and patchouli, definitely consider checking this one out. Solage is from the whole house. It is my favorite composition, my favorite discovery, but I am glad that I have found about this particular fragrance house because it's definitely one that's deserving of your attention in 2020. In fact, all of these fragrance houses are definitely worth your attention in 2020. And this particular one here is no different. This is definitely one of my favorite tobacco scents that I discovered last year, and that definitely creeping up my list of the favorite top 10 tobacco scents of all time. This is Habanero, and this is from Rania J. Paris. And this is pretty much a tobacco bomb. Very nice. Um, think of a Maduro uh, cigar. If you like a Maduro cigar, this stuff here is leafy. It's dark. It's resinous. This is pretty much a combination of tobacco, leather, 
myrrh, sandalwood with a touch of oud that just adds mysteriousness to this particular fragrance. Definitely one of my favorite. In fact, the whole house of Rena J is amazing. I have a lavender one from this particular house that I love. I also have an amber uh, that's called Amber Loop. That's definitely one of my favorite ambers of all time. So if I have to probably give you my top five tobacco scents as of right now, this would definitely make the top five. Like I said, if you like an amazing tobacco, dark, this is going to be a tobacco scent that's not going to be uh, your ordinary tobacco fragrance that's very pleasant and appealing like a tobacco vanilla. This is going to be a heavy, dark, uh, resinous tobacco. You, you need to really appreciate the smell of a cigar embellished by this ambery, myrrh, sandalwood, leathery kind of accord. You're going to love this, guys. Definitely an amazing fragrance worth your attention. If you like tobacco, run your jade. T. Habanero is one that you should not dismiss. Now, this next fragrance house is a fragrance house from Spain. Uh, this is Corner Bar Barcelona is the name of the fragrance uh, house. And it's I'm, I'm so actually baffled that I haven't really dived into this fragrance house up to now. The only one that I really knew about this fragrance house was really D600, which is an iris-based scent. Kind of similar to uh, Dior Homme, but a little spicier, which is amazing. But this particular one was released in 2015, and I'm so glad I got a bottle of it this past year. This is Palo Santo which is a very nice and oriental take on vetiver. Um, so this is like a milky, creamy vetiver that's almost like gourmand. You have some ambery undertones. This is just a stellar fragrance, guys. Definitely one of my favorite discovers in 2019. One that should be making up uh, some top lists in 2020 from me. And I want to know from you guys, what do you guys think about Carner Barcelona? I do love the house. And there's a couple fragrances that I recently discovered, including this one here. But this is definitely my favorite. And I want to tell you guys, if you have not spent any time with this particular fragrance house, it's just going to blow you away. There's also a note of boozy rum up top here that really bleeds into the mid of the fragrance. So if you want like a boozy vetiver that's milky and creamy and sweet, one of my favorites of 2019. Now, when it comes to oud and rose, these are fragrances that needs to be blended very nice and very unique for me to be able to appreciate them. It just depends on what uh, kind of components and elements and accords are embellishing that, that particular note. If it's too heavy on the rose or on the oud, I really tend to not like the fragrance. But this particular one is another one that blew my socks off. Again, I discovered this fragrance back in April from the house of Widian. This is from the Rose Arabia collection. And this is Taif, which is basically a combination of Taif rose and Bulgarian rose embellished by these amazing woody, spicy components. There's cinnamon here. It's just, it's a jammy rose, guys. You know, it's not as resinous as... For example, Lyric Man, but it is definitely more opulent, guys. So if you want a really nice... I mean, I wore a lot of this fragrance for a rose fragrance. I absolutely love... This is a stunning rose fragrance, guys. It's oriental, it's spicy, it's jemmy, it's sweet. It's very sensual, even sexy. Definitely androgynous. A guy or gal can pull this off beautifully. If you like the note of rose, this is definitely one from Vivian. You have to check out... Uh, Rose Arabia Taif, one of my favorite discoveries. This blew me away, guys. For a rose type fragrance, I never thought I would love a rose fragrance as much as I love this one, guys. Check this out if you can. This next one actually re released in 2018, but I didn't discover it until last year, 2019. This is from Atelier des Ors, and it's Chris Pusque des Ans. And this one here is basically a woody, aromatic, spicy scent with a little bit of an animalic tinge with Hyrax. So, a very sensual fragrance, but also animalic. So you need to appreciate an animalic undertone, a little bit of honey to appreciate this fragrance. Not only are you going to get this animalic honey undertone, but there's also a peppery, spicy up top with a tremendous cardamom note in here. This is a woody, spicy aromatic that is just amazing, guys. This is actually a multifaceted you know, fragrance. It starts off spicy with a mandarin orange, peppery with that smoky peppery accord that I talked about. As you get into the heart and the dry down, you're going to get this amazing animalic Hyrax honey undertone, and the dry down also features a tremendous note of patchouli. So this is a stellar fragrance, guys. Atelier des Ors, Crépusque des Am, my favorite from Atelier des Ors, and one that I definitely urge you guys to check out. Speaking of fragrance houses that don't really get much talk here in the fragrance community, this next one is also uh, from a fragrance house that really hardly gets talked about in the fragrance community. This is from Stefan Hubert Lucas, 777. This is an exclusive to Harrods. This is Lufu. And Lufu is a stellar oriental fragrance, guys. Lufu is going to be a oriental with a woody floral musk undertone. So it's going to be mainly a violet type scent. So this violet is going to be embellished by Tonka Labdanum or Labdanum. Um, there's also a beautiful note of tuberose here, which makes this really creamy and enticing. 
This could be a, leaning a little bit more feminine, but it's definitely androgynous. If you're a confident guy, you can definitely rock this, just like, uh, you know, Taifi, you know, from Widian. If you're a confident guy, you could definitely pull it. If you like Violet, you're going to love this particular fragrance. Lufu from Harrods, one that really blew my socks. Again, I didn't think I was going to like a woody, floral, musky fragrance as much as I love this one. It's creamy, it's a little bit oriental, there's some spices here. Almost like a leathery suede uh, heart to the fragrance as well. Check this out if you ha haven't. This is exclusive to Harrod. I don't know how hard it is to find this in America, but if you're in Europe, go check it out. Try a sample. This is definitely worth checking out. Lufu from Stefan Uber Lucas 777. Actually released um, in 2017, but I've only tried this and discovered it just around fall, around September, October of last year. <laughs> this next one is actually from British House that was founded in 2013, so a fairly new company, and this is called Thamine, the name of the company, and the fragrance itself is Riviere. Now, Riviere is going to be a very spicy, woody, leathery fragrance. So you're gonna have leather, you're gonna have fruity components, there's some spices here, a lot of pepper, and there's also a creamy, fruity undertone as you get into the heart and to the dry down. It's just so captivating and unique, guys. Definitely my favorite from the collection, and they have quite a few, and I tried a lot of them, a lot of stellar compositions. But Riviere is definitely a great one if you like leather. Again, this is going to be a very unique take on the leather note. It's going to be fruity, creamy, and spicy. So Riviere from Thamine, one of my favorites. And this particular one was actually released in 2016, so... Funny enough, I just discovered it three years later in 2019, but I'm glad I did and I'm glad I'm sharing it with you guys. So if you like leather, definitely check this out. Now, unlike some of the fragrances that I talked about here that don't get really much talk, this particular fragrance actually, this particular house actually got some limelight and quite a bit, quite a bit of people talking about it. And this is from Fragrance Dubois. And the fragrance itself is Suntal Complet. So if you like the, the note of sandalwood, first of all, you know, the presentation is amazing. I love the cap, love the bottles. Uh, minimalist on the bottles, very nice on the caps. Overall, tremendous composition. The, the, the company itself is just amazing. Uh, the blends are amazing. The ouds that they outsource are just incredible. Perhaps one of the favorite oud compositions I've tried last year. I'm looking to do a top 10 or top 15 or 20 ouds of all time for you guys because I know this is something I get asked all the time. Now before I veer off to talking about oud, let me go back here to this one. But if you guys want to see a top favorite ouds of all time, drop in the comments and I'll look into it for you guys. But Suntal Complete is an amazing sandalwood fragrance, guys, from this particular house. Definitely one of my favorite discoveries from this house last year. What I love about this sandalwood here is because it's going to feature a coconut creamy opening also has a peppery, leathery mid to the fragrance. And the sandalwood that's utilized here is my source sandalwood, which, which, which we all know if we follow the fragrance community, if you read about fragrances, it is the most expensive and the best sandalwood to outsource. So definitely check out the, the, the House of Fragrance Dubois. They do fantastic with their compositions. And Sandal Complet is an amazing, intriguing sandalwood fragrance for those of you that are fragrance lovers. And for those of you that appreciate a good sandalwood fragrance, Definitely consider this one, guys. And Suntal Complet was actually released in 2016. And again, I just found about it last year in 2019. And it's just a phenomenal sandalwood fragrance at that. Now, this next one here is actually was released in 2016 as well. And it's from a fragrance house that I just came in contact with last year in 2019. And I'm glad I tried all their compositions. And this is probably my top three favorite ones. And I'm really, really happy that I've discovered this particular one to share with you guys again. I'm not really huge on Oud. And this is from the house of Oud. But funny enough, I don't think this one actually has oud in it. And this one's called Grape Pearls. And this is pretty much a coffee fragrance. So it's going to be an oriental gourmand uh, coffee base scent. Which is a fruity gourmand with some flor which has some floral undertones. There's going to be a ton of grape here. So if you want something that's a little bit grapey with that fruity, uh, floral, fruity kind of undertone, you're going to love this one here. Uh, perhaps there's like a hint of oud here, but it's not dirty or animalic. It's like I said, mostly a gourmand because you're going to get vanilla and amber in the dry down, which is really going to make this pop. And that fruity grape accord along with that vanilla is, is really going to be what you're going to be left with. So if you want a creamy grape coffee type of fragrance, definitely consider checking this one out. If you love gourmands, this is definitely a must try. In fact, this whole fragrance house, I mean, the bottles are tremendous. They are, in fact, amazing uh, with, with what they do, guys. From the craftsmanship of the bottles themselves to the actual blends, they do an incredible job when it comes to fragrance, guys. Definitely one of my favorite discoveries of last year. Um, 
you know, sometimes it's hard to talk about all these fragrances. You know, when throughout the, the course of a year, you know, I, I probably try about 300 to 400 fragrances. Today, I'm talking about 25, which are my top discoveries of last year. So even for these fragrances to make this top 25 is quite a feat, considering, you know, I have over uh, close to 2,000 now in my collection, and, and these are the 25 top discoveries. So it, it says a lot about these fragrance houses. So the House of Oud, Great Pearls, definitely an incredible fragrance to, to, to check out. Coffee, fruity. And also, again, a great fragrance house to check out. If you haven't heard of or, or tried this fragrance house, definitely consider checking out this fragrance house. The bottles themselves are incredible. They, they have like this egg, like a Farage kind of egg look. And they all have this amazing theme and, and just incredible color to them. Just like I said, from the craftsmanship to the bottles into the juices, they are quality through and through. So we're getting now to the last stretch here. This particular one is called um, Presente Futuro. And it's actually from a fragrance house called Antiqua. It's an Italian house from Florence. And the great thing about this one here is that it actually was founded by uh, the founder and the creator of the House of Bois 1920. So you know it's going to be quality here. Presente in Futuro, the House of Antiqua is actually blends from Enzo Gallardi, which again was the founder and creator of Bois 1920. And he did a fantastic job with this one. This is from 2017. And it's going to be an oriental, woody, spicy fragrance with amazing spices, sandalwood, patchouli. And what I get with this fragrance also is a creamy hazelnut mid to the fragrance. So it's, it's, there's like a nutty feel to this particular fragrance and it's just uncanny. Something very unique. If you like uh, Ferrero Rocher, you know, that, that chocolate hazelnut. Think about it, that creamy blend that you get as, you, as, you chew, as you're eating a Ferrero Rocher. That's what I get with this. It's borderline gourmand. There's no chocolate list in the notes, but you get, like I said, that patchouli, sandalwood, hazelnut kind of a combination. It gives you like an amazing gourmand, woody, nutty trifecta. that is just unbelievably good, guys. Uncanny, very unique, very exotic. There's also some cloves and cinnamon in this fragrance. I love cloves and cinnamon. When I get a, a spicy fragrance that contains a combination of cloves and cinnamon, right there, you know, in the opening, they got me at hello. And this one had definitely got me at hello, guys. Presente futuro means present and future. In this particular house, it is magnetic cap. I mean, quality bottles. Um, definitely a fragrance house that I urge you guys to check out. Not much going on as far as talks in the community about this particular house, Antiqua. But I'm telling you right now, if you get your noses in this particular fragrance house, you're going to be amazed. All creations are very unique, very exotic. And this particular one, uh, Antiqua Firenze Presente Futuro, is definitely one of my favorite discoveries of 2019. Now, here's another fragrance house that when you hear about it, it's mostly talking about one particular fragrance, which is a barbershop fragrance, Invasion Barbar. The fragrance house is MDCI Parfums, and this particular one is definitely my favorite from the collection. This is Cheaper Palatin, and it is right now, as of today, my favorite cheaper fragrance of all time, guys. From all the different cheapers, you know, old school. This one here just has it all, guys. It's a little bit powdery. It's a little bit ambery. But it has all the right combinations of a perfect cheaper, guys. If you like the genre, if you like the, the classification cheaper, this is definitely a must-try, guys. This, this stuff just blew me away, and I was like, man, where have I been? Where ha you know, why haven't I tried this fragrance? This is actually released in 2012, and it is definitely a masterpiece. This is actually composed by one of my favorite noses of all time, Bertrand du Chafour. So you know this is going to be quality, guys. 2012 Cheaper Palatin, one that I discovered last year. And I'm so glad I have. I've actually had this in my top, I think, fall or winter of this year, of 2019 slash 2020. So I've been wearing this heavily, guys. Check out Cheaper Palatin. This stuff here is just heavenly. Next up, we have another fragrance from 2016, uh, released in 2016, but I just discovered last year around summertime. This is Milano Cento Him, and this particular fragrance is from Italy, and it's basically bringing old type, you know, that old school, you know, old world, very gentleman, just like Saharoff, you know, Signature Om. This here is going to be very similar to the Dracar Noir, but it added some really cool spices and cardamom to this fragrance, which really made it pop. So the fragrance has two facets. It's going to have that barbershop clean, soapy vibe, but then as it gets into the dry down, you're going to get this really nice, spicy vibe to it. So think about Dracar Noir. I think about those old school Fougere. So if you like old school barbershop fragrances and you wanted something a little bit spicier and long lasting, definitely check out Milano Cento. It has a little bit of a soapy dry down, but that spiciness that I talked about will remain throughout the life of the fragrance, which gave this one here a little, um, 
unique feel to the fougere, guys. Check out Milano Cento from Italy if you haven't. I think you're going to be pleasantly surprised if you do enjoy fougeres like myself. Now, speaking of patchouli, uh, ba basically over the last two years, especially in 2019, I have been really in this patchouli kick. If you look at all these compositions here that I, that I presented, you know, in this top 25, a lot of them will have a very prominent or predominant patchouli accord or note. And this particular one is based around the note of patchouli. This is an Eau de Parfum from Crystal Parfum. This is Crystal Patchouli, which is an incredible, and I'm going to say that again, it's an incredible patchouli type fragrance. It's a spicy, very woodsy, chocolatey, in your face, resinous, opulent patchouli, guys. If you like patchouli, this is definitely a fragrance that, you know, if you, can, if you guys want to see any reviews, actually, of any, any of these fragrances, besides the oud that I talked about, you guys know it. Any questions you have, feel free to ask them away. You know, but if you want to see any of these fragrances reviewed, I haven't reviewed this one. This is definitely one that is worth checking out, guys. One of my favorite discoveries. I'm glad I got a bottle of this. Crystal Patchouli is where it's at. If you want a spicy, resinous, opulent, uh, really um, high-class patchouli, this stuff here is amazing. Love the leather wrap here on the bottle. Love the metal cap. The sprayers are great on these fragrances. This is a heavenly patchouli, guys. If you like patchouli, this is definitely a must-try. Crystal patchouli from Crystal Parfums. A lot of these fragrances here have not been released last year, but this one here happens to be a 2019 release. Crystal patchouli from Crystal Parfums. We're down to the last two um, discoveries for me. And this one here is one that's been around since 2016, but I just happened to have gotten the bottle last year. This is from a fragrance house that got a ton of, uh, you know, limelight in the fragrance community with a fragrance called Pacific Rock Moss. This is from the house of Goldfield and Banks, and this is Desert Rosewood. I'll be honest with you, the whole collection is really, really nice and intriguing, but this one here is where it's at for me. This is my favorite composition. I've actually done a full review for you guys. If you haven't, do check it out. This is going to be a predominantly rosewood and amber fragrance. So if you like rosewood type scents and you love ambery, spicy fragrances, this is going to blow you away. If you like fragrances that are going to be in the vein of, you know, Tom Ford's Amber Absolute. It doesn't smell like it, but it's in the same family. It's in the same genre. So if you like those type scents, this is going to blow you this is going to blow you away, guys. Desert rosewood is amazing, spicy rosewood type scent. There's cardamom in here. There's also a Sicilian mandarin orange opening up top. And you're going to get this amazing vanillic dry down, ambery spicy dry down. Definitely one of my favorite discoveries of last year. I did a review for you guys early last year. I had to just share this with you. One of my favorite discoveries of 2019. And I'm really looking forward to more you know, discoveries, more um, releases from Goldfield and Banks, also from Australia. So this is, I think, the second uh, company from Australia featured in my top discoveries of 2019. And last but not least, we have a discovery from New York City, from a fragrance house in New York City. The fragrance house is Strange Love NYC, and the fragrance itself is Melt My Heart. Now, this is going to be a stellar oriental gourmand type scent. I'm going to tell you right off the bat, this stuff here is amazing. It does melt my heart. It's sensual. It's sexy. It's a runner-up. I'm, I'm in between this one and two other fragrances for my signature Valentine scent for the evening with my loved ones. So, this one here... It's going to be very reminiscent of tobacco vanilla. So if you took tobacco vanilla, you know, tobacco vanilla, added an enigmatic honey accord, and infused it with dark chocolate, that's what you get right here, guys. Strange Love NYC Melt My Heart. This stuff is just unbelievably good. It is to die for. If you like, if you have a sweet tooth, you like gourmand oriental scents, if you like tobacco, vanilla, chocolate, everything I talked about here, check this out, guys. This is no joke, and it is long-lasting as well. Incredible. Melt My Heart. One of my favorite discoveries of 2019. So, I talked about 25 releases here. It is a lot to talk about. Sorry if it went a little bit too fast. I didn't want to go too crazy into these fragrances and break them down. Because, again, if you want to see a full review in any of these fragrances, just drop down in the comments and I'll look into it. A lot of these I actually have reviews. But I'm going to have the links to all of these particular brands if you guys want to check them out. This is not a sponsored video by any way, shape, or form. Uh, the only mention here was on Mustache EDP, which is a partner of my company, not Mustache uh, Rochas, but FragranceBuy.ca. So if you want to find discount designers, 
just like this one or other you know discount fragrances definitely check them out these are amazing fragrance discoveries of 2019 for sure but i want to know what you guys discovered in 2019 please let me know down in the comment section what were your favorite top five or top ten discoveries that you guys tried for the first time again they don't necessarily have to have been released in 2019 all that needs to happen is for you to have experienced or, or you know discover that particular fragrance or fragrance house in 2019 so let me know down in the comment section, guys. Let me know what you thought about my discoveries. If you tried any of these, which ones are your favorites? And which one from these fragrance houses I discovered in 2019 I should really dive into? Please let me know your favorites, again, from the ones that I've talked about. If you guys have experience with them, I'd love to read your comments about these houses as well. So that's all I have for you today. Thanks so much for sticking around with me. As always, guys, thank you so much for your support. Please don't forget to like, subscribe for a lot more, and don't forget to hit your notification bell icon. That way you get videos just like these straight into your feed. As always, remember, fragrance is emotion in motion, so wear what truly moves you. I'll see you again real soon.